I told you I don't like you anymore. You're absolutely worthless. Get out! Is this thing on? Nice. Hi guys, Durantula90 here again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank a couple more subscribers who have now joined my channel. So thank you very much guys. I really do appreciate it. Again, I do this channel for you guys, you know, this is all content for you. So today, what are we going to be talking about? Well, I'm going to be talking about Grand Theft Auto. That's right, everybody loves Grand Theft Auto. You know, it's an absolute amazing franchise. But, and that's a big but, I cannot lie. It's the newer games and the 3D games that are worth it. The PS1 games? No, absolutely not. And I'm going to go through and explain why I think so. So, I was a 90s kid, you know, I grew up playing the original GTA games. And I liked them. You know, they were great at a certain point, you know. It was like going, all right, okay, you know, bird's eye view, driving around this area, you know, doing missions. Well, say doing missions, more like just going around causing absolute mayhem. But then who hasn't in the GTA game? Who hasn't cheated in the GTA game? But... Over time, they're just not worth going back to. It's just like, look at the 3D games now, and you know, it's like all the way you think GTA 5 is now the biggest GTA game ever. You know, they've remastered it so many times now, it's just absolutely crazy. You know, so many hours are put into that game, so much, you know, creativity is in that game that you can't just you know, play it, and without thinking, this is absolute bliss. You know, it's like, how can you play, go back and play other games, necessarily? Now, obviously for me, you know, I'm, you know, reminiscing, I'm going back, I'm playing all these games that I either didn't play, or games that I remember playing, and you know, so when I first started picking up GTA, the GTA games again, I picked up GTA Vice City first, I was playing it thinking, oh, you know, this is quite cool. And then I thought to myself, well, no, I'm going to go back uh, a bit. Because I still ha already had San Andreas. So I was thinking, well, I'm going to go back and I'm going to play GTA 3. So I started playing GTA 3 for a little bit. And then, because as trying to get a GTA game these days, seems to be, you know, the disc was in tatters and it just didn't work after a while. So I did a few missions and I was thinking to myself, well, why don't I, if I'm going to be true to my traditional nature, of how I'm playing my games. I need to go back to the very beginning and play GTA 1 on the PS1. And so I picked it up and after about an hour, nah, no, not in your lifetime. I'm never gonna play that game. I mean, for crying out loud, the biggest problems I had with the original PS1 version was, you know, it felt so slow. Yeah, because even, you know, because walking around as you are, you're just running around in, you know, the top-down area of the whole thing. And you, it's just like, it's so boring to me. It's just like, you just walk around and it doesn't feel, you don't feel like you do. Because, I mean, I, I can't say that I'm as nostalgic for the, the newer games, because the thing is, you know, I've played them, but I have never completed a GTA game. So, and as a kid, you know, I was always playing the original GTA games on the PS1. And I was always having a, f a blast with it, you know, hunting down the Elvis gang. Uh, you know, every time you heard them, you just stop. I stopped everything to go and look for them, to wipe them out. Um, and it was fun. But, you know, going back to play it now, it's just like trying to navigate through, you know, Liberty City. And that's tough. And it's just like, again, it's slow, the controls, it's just like, it's just an absolute bad experience. Whereas, like, playing the 3D games is just so much better. You know, and even though, even stuff like Liberty City and Vice City Stories, you know, some people said those games aren't really that great, but they're definitely better than the original games. And it's hard to really kind of put a certain perspective onto it, because it's like, I would like to have played, you know, the second one on the PS1 and GTA London to kind of really put things into perspective. But after playing the first one, there's just no point. I mean, the bird's eye view was a real put-off for me as well. I mean, 
it's one of those things where, if, you know, you much more preferred it to be a 3D uh, kind of experience, you know, rather than having a two, like a bird's eye view, because it's like, is the bird's eye view great? No, the bird's eye view is just pointless to me. Well, not pointless, but it's just like, you know, if you're going to play these kind of games, it's like, you want to be able to see everything. You want to be able to do everything. And you think about stuff like, you know, people thought about that with like fixed cameras, like the Resident Evil uh, thing. But obviously, in comparison to that, you've got this bird's eye view where, you know, obviously it's looking down on you. And obviously, it zooms out when you're driving. But at the same time, it's just like the controls were really off to me. And like, and plus, I would, when I played it for that whole hour, like, it took literally that whole time to do one mission. Now, I know, obviously, you've got some really tough missions in the GTA series. You know, you've got Demolition Man on Vice City. Um, and you've got, you know, the train mission on San Andreas. Um, but it's just, like, in comparison to that, like, this mission, like... And the thing is, I never failed the mission on when I was playing it. That wasn't the, that wasn't the problem. The problem was that it's like I actually did the thing at the last bit of the mission at the end because I think it was something to do with like you go you get one of those big trucks and you go and park it in a garage and every time I put it in the garage like it nothing happened like literally I'd come out of the garage and it wouldn't be like mission complete anything like that no more text would pop up you know the arrow would still be pointing to the garage and it's just like well what am I supposed to be doing then? You know, what's exactly am I supposed to do? And obviously, because it's a bird's eye view and everything, obviously, you can't see inside of things. So whether it's not that like you're not parking in the right place, you know, you're not, it's not positioned in the right way. And it's just absolutely insane. So, you know, it's like, I just gave up. Because it's just like, why? Why did I have this idea of going back to play the original games, only to then be so disappointed and I mean, it absolutely sucks. It's just like, it's the probably the only game that I've bought for my entire collection that I literally, uh, other than like something like Crusaders of Might and Magic on the PS1, like that's probably the only thing that I actually regret buying for my entire collection. Like, and I've got to a point now where I've really do dig in and do as much you know, background research, so to speak, on any and all games that I plan to pick up and you know I, I didn't really need to do that for GTA that's not really the point because it was you know I remember it you know it's nostalgic for me it's something I played all the time but it's just all in all it's just so bad and I just couldn't see myself trying it again ever like to me it's one of those things that I'm happily going to leave that in the rearview mirror and never look at it again you know what I mean it's like you know, I've done that with some other games, but like for that one, it's just absolutely pure. You know, don't let the door hit you on the way out, kind of thing. Um, but you know, and I know people are really big fans of it, the whole franchise in general. You know, obviously the humble beginnings, and you know, a lot of people are nostalgic for it, and I am too. But it's just not something that really you know brings joy to me. It doesn't really make me feel anything. Um. But, you know, but then you think about the success of playing the games, and I think it is... I don't know if it's just because of the 3D games, because you pick them up and you go, you know... So, for example, obviously GTA 3, you know, that was considered, like, the... It was the number one best-selling game um, when it came out. And, yes, they say a lot... Some people said, you know, for playing this game, you know, it's probably not worth going back to because of how... Like the environments kind of disappear sometimes, you know, kind of loading up. But I don't mind that. Because again, you know, I've never completed a GTA game and I want to complete them. But I'm not going to complete the PS1 versions. So I'll complete this, I'll complete the others. But, you know, then playing a game like, even playing this one, which is what I was playing, the GTA game I was playing before I played the first one. And it's like, the comparison is just like, oh, so you're going to go from a 3D game you know, where you can just see everything, do everything, you know, the driving's fine, all that sort of stuff, to then go, oh, but bird's eye view, all this other stuff. And it's like, ugh. it's ridiculous, but yeah. And then, you know, Vice City came out, 
famous Malibu club and everything else. And again, it's just like everything evolves. It gets better and better. You know, so all the things you can do on this, you know, having get, getting the mansion and all this other stuff. Um, shouts to Lance. And, um, you know, then, then you've got San Andreas and it's just like, again, it just feels amazing. And it's just like, you know, it just carries on being this evolution. But, you know, things get different, more different all the time. And then, obviously, you fast forward it. And, you know, when it comes to stuff like GTA 4 and GTA 5, again, you know, GTA 5 has become and considered one of the best, if not the best in some people's eyes, open world game that's ever come out. And it's one of those things where, you know, I haven't played GTA 5 before. Uh, I played it a little bit when I picked up my PS3 bundle uh, at Christmas 2019. Um, but I think it was probably the wrong one to play to test my PS3 just because it's like obviously it took like a lot of time to uh, install it and then um, I played it and it was kind of like obviously the intro was quite long um, but you know it, it was again it was an absolute joy to see the evolution of it and so to actually then think that I was ever going to play the first ones no <laughs> never again um, I mean, this, I mean, it's just, it's stupid. It's like, there's no enthusiasm towards it at all. I mean, this is how enthusiastic I am. So, you know, it's just an absolute joke to go back to them. I don't recommend it at all. Um, if you're into that sort of thing, you know, then, you know, that's your decision. But for my money, no, nah, I wouldn't go back to them. Um, just stick with the 3D games. That's where it's at. You know, and obviously with GTA 6 being talked about, it's just like, you know, the sky's the limit, I think. Um, so that's it for this video, guys. Uh, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about uh, the GTA franchise in general. You know, what's your favourite game? Um, I don't have a favourite game, really, just because I haven't completed them, so I haven't ever really seen the story from beginning to end. But um, let me know in the comment section below what your favourite one is. What's your opinion on the original games? Have you played them? Do you like them? Um, and, you know, let me know in the... Oh, hang on a second. Sorry, I've realised I picked up some games yesterday. I went to uh, a CEX and I went and picked up a few things. So I picked up uh, Call of Juarez on the 360. Um, I heard some good things about this game. Um, there's two other games after this, but I think, I think in general, I think it's... I think the next one isn't good or something, but the th third one is, I don't know. But I think, so I picked this up, it's pretty good. Uh, I picked up Lost Planet 2. Um, again, like I don't usually pick up sequel games now, uh, since I kind of said I'm not gonna do that until I've played the other games, because Lost, the first Lost Planet is in my next playthrough that I'm doing right now. So I thought I'd pick it up. And it's, again, they're cheap, you know, they're really, really cheap. Um, you know, Call of Duty was £1.50 and uh, Lost Planet 2 was £1.50. Uh, and I picked up Metal Gear Solid 4. Um, again, you know, I've literally not even played the second one yet, but uh, I know I'm going to play them, So and they're cheap. You know, this was actually £1.50. Um, so, again, so it's definitely worth picking them up, because I'm definitely going to play them. I have a lot of love for the Metal Gear Solid series, uh, scary as the first one was. Um, Resident Evil 6. Uh, again, I'm going to play all the Resident Evil uh, mainstream games anyway, um, as bad as this one is, apparently. Uh, uh, Syndicate, uh, another like first-person shooting game. Um, I picked this up on 360 a while back, but um, it didn't actually have the uh, I didn't have the manual, so I got rid of it. Uh, Metal, Medal of Honor Vanguard. Um, again, I have a lot of love for the Medal of Honor series, uh, so definitely happy to pick this one up. Uh, definitely looks. I think got like 7 out of 10 I think um, but yeah really enjoy enjoyable and then the last game I picked up was Battalion Wars 2 uh, for the Wii uh, this was only a pound and um, you know, the first one came out on GameCube uh, you know, again I haven't played it the GameCube one yet but I just I've watched countless ta uh, countless times no let me rephrase that I've watched the gameplay for the first one a lot of times and I watched gameplay for this and it definitely looks like my kind of game, definitely worth playing, um, so I'm definitely going to play it. So yeah, so that was a quick pickup bit as well. Uh, you know, let me know in the comments what you've picked up recently as well. Uh, you know, have you been 
going back playing older games? Have you been playing newer games? I know obviously Crash Force come out now. Uh, obviously Star Wars Squadrons is out now. Um, so you know, let me know if you're enjoying those. Uh, I should be hopefully picking them up sometime soon. And uh, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe down below for more content. And uh, till the next video, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And as usual, guys, take care of yourselves.